Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. We got Courtney here with us today. She is not feeling good already. I, I'm feeling I'm better. Feeling okay, but like wore out. Okay. Last uh, night I thought I was coming out of strip like the sun. <laughs> yeah, the sun's got stripped over right now. Uh, color us ignorant for a couple different reasons. Because uh, these knives have been out for a while. But I was listening to Knife Jackie podcast and I heard Bob DeMarco talk about uh, a Camillus that was designed by Daryl Ralph. It was available at Home Depot. And I was like, what? You know, like, so we had, uh, we picked one up, man. It was 20 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. was, that, was that about how much it was? All right, we haven't opened it yet. So this will be the unblistering. We are going to save you from that. We'll go ahead and get it out of the package and we'll talk about it. What we think is potentially cool and probably not so great about it, you know. Okay, so this is the bottom of the line Dominator. And the Dominator was a custom knife by Daryl Ralph. There's, you know, it's, it's even got his, you know. Signature his, thumb. Type. Yeah, signature thumb flicker. Flipper, whatever. All right. It says it's on bearings. I think I saw that. Um... Quick launch bearing system. It almost sounds like it would be assisted, doesn't it? Right. And stainless steel drop point. There's an upgrade to this. One of the upgrades to this has three CR 13 MOV. <laughs> it's got shatterproof handles. We don't know what they're made out of. Now, the the one of the, the most luxurious upgrades of this in the Camillus brand is carbon fiber frame lock and VG10. About 60 bucks, really. Probably a pretty fair price for fairly fairly fair price. Uh, product but um yeah uh I, I i think it's cool in a way uh for the same reasons why bob demarco mentioned like it's it's awesome that maybe a non-knife person walking to home depot need a knife he'll pick it up you know and and then like it's designed well at least right, right. and then he uses it and like where can i go from here you know and that does, Bob mentioned a hot spot on this flipper uh, with your index finger, and he's absolutely right. Did you, did you have any experience with that? <clears throat> yeah, whenever you go to put your thumb up there, it, that knuckle wants to hit right there. Right. It does. And this is considered a, a, a Camilla's custom. You know, like what it says right here Camilla's custom Daryl Ralph design which is it's interesting man like I mean it, it is a very much a budget knife and uh, I wouldn't expect much out of it uh, especially since the the upgrades got 3 CR 13 MOV what what does that what does that mean this has you know like it's a 7 inch knife overall with a 3, day, three inch blade and a 4 inch handle it's very simple you know it's a liner lock feels good yeah There's it really, does open easily yeah it does it, it opens easily. I don't know if we can get enough meat to no. I can't get enough meat on the on the, the I know some people can, you know, like just get enough finger on that blade to to be able to flip it open like it has thumb studs, even though it doesn't. Uh it's got a far from a what what I would consider a beat carry pocket clip. Right. But it's uh, functional and got a lantern hole. Uh plastic of some sort, backspacer, stainless steel. I believe that would be saying let's let's get our let's get our titanium checkers. Definitely not titanium. <laughs> titanium. Aluminium. So, and, and this uh this says titanium. So it's titanium coated, and the package would indicate that that means it's three times harder than it would be without the titanium, which is absurd. <laughs> Titanium. titanium bonded yeah uh, I, I mean like, I, like I'm not saying the coating is worthless what I'm saying is uh, titanium is not going to make it still harder unless, unless I'm just let me know in the comments if I'm interpreting that wrong but um, titanium is pretty soft is titanium rust resistant yeah absolutely uh, and it does say that titanium bonded corrosion resistant stainless steel right one second though where does it say right on the front it says up to three times harder than uh, 
Okay, up to three times harder than untreated steel. Blade stay blade stays sharper longer. But it doesn't really treated. mean the. <laughs> 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 so. I guess that it got nothing to do with the titanium. Right. They're just trying to be slick there. Yeah, that's that's a little slick. <laughs> it's heat treated, y'all. <laughs> okay. Um, Gotta love marketing. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> titanium bonded corrosion resistant stainless steel. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, there's a lot of, the Kershaw uses a lot of titanium bonded uh, stainless steel, you know, and that, that's cool. Let's, let's take this fucker apart. Okay. You want to see the inside of it? Sure. Let's do it, man. All right. Uh, let, let me get the tools together. Okay. We got a T6 for the body screws and a T8 for the pivot. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay. What you got? Oh, I thought, I thought you were still reading it. No. Go ahead. Uh, we're recording. Oh, okay. We need to do some maintenance back here on this room. Yep. You know, that way we can find some stuff. It's getting out of hand. We got a few too many things sitting around hiding other shit that we need. Exactly. Interesting. And I don't expect much of a twenty dollar knife, you know? Like it's a I think it's just cool that it's offered. No, in a way, I suppose. At the same time, you know, like it's kind of sad that it's came to. We're gonna strip this out. Um, it's kind of sad that it came to this. If if the family didn't want to be in this position, I'm gonna tighten these back up. <clears throat> we'll try to go back, go from this, go go at this from a different direction. It might not be. Uh, Take a portable? Yeah. Disassembled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just spinning. That's gonna fuck the tool up. Tool's worth more than the knife, so I'll forfeit. But I really wanna call legit bullshit on that on, on the this having bearings. It's definitely not assisted opening. I need two of them. Listen, uh, we'll do a disassembly video later. Is that like, or we, we may do a disassembly video later because it's, uh, this is jank. <laughs> but if you didn't have to take the part, knife apart, <clears throat> right? you know, and you just wanted to buy a knife to use it, and you weren't yeah, concerned about user and abuser. Yeah, could possibly be a good user and abuser for, for some folks. This right here, like I'm, I'm with Demarco. I would have to go. I have to file that down a little bit. Yeah. It's just not enough clearance for my finger. Like it's just it's it's biting even, into my finger. Even mine. If you got to use the jimping at all, it, it, with your thumb, it's digging into the the index knuckle. Right. But this is a twenty dollar Darrow Ralph design. It's not a Darrow Ralph knife. There's a big difference. But it's a $20 Darrow wrap design. And uh, that's worth whatever it's worth, right? Right. In this instance, it's worth 20 bucks. But if you ever wanted to handle a, a Dominator and uh, you couldn't afford a real one, will it cut? Did it come with an edge on it? What? Yes, it is. Not the, not the keenest of edges, but it, it come with an edge. Not sure what kind of steel it is, y'all. Like, so, no telling about that, but. Just know it's less than 3CR. It's gotta be, huh. it's gotta be cheaper. The 3CR version is $35. The VG10 version is $66. But the, the VG10 version is a, 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 a frame lock as well. So, yeah. I think they're all seven inches. So like they're all about the same size as a rat too, which we'll, we'll, we'll show you here. Yep. 
and we are extremely late to the game on this one. We thought we'd run into a brand new knife. You know, like, <laughs> it's like this, well, check this out, man. DeMarco was giving us a brand new knife to do video. But, you know. It's it's how it is. You know, like, we were we were all deceived because we weren't looking at this this portion of the spectrum of collectability. You know? Right. Like, this type of stuff that could get sold at Home Depot and stuff will go up underneath a lot of our radars. Radars, yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. Sorry to disappoint you about the disassembly. I don't <laughs> want to screw up my tools over, over, over these stripped night. out um, screws. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll figure something else out later. Until next time. See you on the flip side.